Hello. Hello, civilian. I just said hello. Don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? Um. Well, first of all, I helped. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Yeah. Uh, I want. I want to join up. Actually, uh, Night Shin uh, said you might need some help. I could potentially assist with. Oh, a prospective <clears throat> initiate. Night Shin sent you. And I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. Oh, yeah. Down. Uh. You Whoa. What is this mission exactly? Our new base is littered with old technology. But there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place. A, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some backup. Alright, yeah, deal. Glad we can come to an agreement. Any questions before we start? Well, no, I, I don't think I have any questions. I'm ready to go now. Great. Unfortunately, I need to finish up a few things here. Head downstairs and I'll meet you in a bit. Yes, ma'am. She's she's actually cute. She's a cute girl. Let's go. There's a lot of initiates here. So, hold on. Uh. Oh, wait, data. I want to see if there's any m things that I can turn off. Find someone named Mags. I'll turn that off for now. Is there anything else? No. Bunch of dailies. Anything turned on? No. Alright, good. I just didn't want anything that didn't need to be on to be swaying me from going to the wrong map markers. So let's go ahead and head on out of here and start this mission. I wonder what, if we're going to be destroying things right now. Alrighty. Uh, is she here? Oh, there she is. Here, I'll follow you, Scribe Valdez. I'm right behind you. So what's the what's the stitch? Good, uh, you're here. So, how do you feel about reading comprehension? I was hoping to start out by sweeping the area for documentation left behind from before the war. Uh, reading the schematic is a good first step in the problem-solving process, in my opinion. Are you trying to get on my good side? Yes. Because that's my <laughs> good side. But enough about that. I'd like to get started. Let's head downstairs and see what we can turn up. Yes, ma'am. Right behind you. I guess... I guess you're right behind me then. Let's go. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'll take that 45 though. What's this other thing? Oh, I'll take that 2 millimeter EC. Oh, did she already leave? Oh, there she is. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way downstairs. Making my way downstairs. Oh, wait, that's not how it goes. That, why does it sound like a snake? Oh, no, it's a... Let's go! For Narnia! Oh god. Oh god. I'm dead. No! Get away from me! Hurry up and reload! Oh god. Oh god. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, good. Let's go. Dude, I can't see anything. Get away from me! How about you help me fight? This tech down here is his hand. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Let's go. Those things are so tanky. Alright, hold on. Get away from me. Is that all of them? Woo! Yeah, that was pretty intense. I'll take that meat though. Hell, you know what? I'm hungry now. Uh, aid. 
Do I have any regular food? Okay, so got some grilled stag, uh, rad stag. I'll take a couple. Oh, this doesn't do anything for me. Definitely need some water, like crazy. Wait a minute, I just realized this. I don't know if it's a bug or they changed it. But when I was thirsty, I got no uh, repercussions out of that. I wish we had the people to get this stuff up and running again. Just look at All right. So let's see. Oh, that's a lot to read. I'm not reading all that. You guys could definitely, uh, when it goes back live on the streaming channel, obviously here, or on YouTube, you guys could just push pause and read this if you guys want on the main channel. Um, let me see here. And the same thing goes for this. So you guys might want to read it in order, obviously. So this is one out of three. The last one we got was two out of three. So we're looking for three out of three. I think it's around the backside. Yep, here it goes. And feel free to read that. You don't say I'm reading it already. Good. Let's talk for a sec. What's up? That should be enough to start. Let me take a look. Atlas decommission report. Hmm. So the project was in bad shape after all? Oh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. Fascinating. Wow. This is some seriously classified stuff that I just let you read, isn't it? <laughs> I wasn't supposed to show you any of this. Uh. Uh. Huh, what do I want to say? I wish I had a charisma. Okay, now that you let this slip, you might as well tell me the uh, give me the full explanation. Uh, you can say that again. What on earth is this Atlas project, anyways? Now you know what I'm gonna try to get on her good side. Uh, I'm not here to pry, to be honest. I'm just here to help. That's a mature attitude to take. I really appreciate that. There's only so much I can tell you, but I'll share what I feel is relevant. Atlas wasn't exactly an observatory before the war. What? That was just a front. The military conducted research here. Pretty advanced research. We're down here to investigate and see what's worth salvaging for the Brotherhood. That actually makes sense. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Thanks for filling me in. I did ask you to help, after all. It's only fair you're prepared for what you might find. Absolutely. Now, let's follow up on some leads from this report. I'd like to do a quick inspection of some key components that should be nearby. There's probably a terminal around here. If it's still running, we can do a diagnostics test. That will tell us about some of the less accessible hardware. The report mentioned that the machine's intake pump was under a lot of pressure. Let's find the release valve for that and give it a spin. See what happens. Finally, the lower core on this level should have a wiring box. Why don't we take a glance at that to get an idea of the electrical hookups? All right, will do. Hold on. What are we looking for exactly in the diagnostics test? The diagnostics test can tell us the state of some key components that we won't be able to test manually. Keep an eye on the state of each component and we'll want to look into them after the initial check. I mean, sounds like a deal, but uh, how will we know if the release valve works properly? The release valve is an emergency mechanism that can relieve pressure on the intake pipes if they come under stress. If all is well, we'll just be able to turn it and nothing out of the ordinary will happen. Somehow I find that a little hard to believe that nothing out of the ordinary will happen. But okay, I'll take your word on that. Uh, what will be, what will the wiring tell us about the machine? Think of the wires like the blood vessels of the machine. Without the electricity running through them, nothing's going to work. We just need to do a little checkup and see what condition they're in. Sounds like a plan. Let's let's go. A simple inspection. You can have point, but I'll be looking over your shoulder the whole way. Take note of the details, and we'll discuss how it goes after. Yes, ma'am. Wait, hold on. What's the durability to my weapon right now? Because these weapons. 
are honestly really tough to maintain. There's actually a valve right here. Oh, man, I should have just went around. Okay, whatever. I might as well go over here first. Wait, I think I have to turn the valve first. Let's turn... Ow! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what in the world just happened? Did I do this wrong? Looks like we've got company. Oh, God. That's not... Oh, well, there's just mole rats. Oh, God. Why is everything so strong, dude? Get away. Ah! Get away! I can't see! Ah, I'm scared! Get away! Alright, that guy's dead. You! Die! Oh, God, I'm stuck! Oh, snap! Got some headshots on him. Is there another one? Oh, snap. Maybe I should heal. Die, you... Heathen! Oh, God! Run away! Oh, there's a legendary right there. Oh, God, that's my legendary perk. Where's that legendary? Get away from me! Ah! No! <laughs> oh, I got stuck! Man, now I gotta go downstairs again. Those things are ridiculously strong. Don't worry, Ramadi, I'm coming. I mean, not Ramadi, Valdez. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm coming, I'm coming. And I got parasites. Did she win? Get out of here. I need that meat, though. Aw, oh, man. Where's the legendary? Ah! Got him. Give me your meat. Um... I hear another one. Valdez is getting beat up over there. Where did he go? I'm a little confused. He's attacking, but I don't know where he is. Hello? You know, I'm not gonna lie. I think he's inside the wall. I definitely think he's inside the wall. Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to go with the uh, diagnostics terminal. Run diagnostics check. Hello. I'm not going to be able to do this until that last one's dead, am I? Alright, let's check the durability. Oh, dude. Hey. Alright, let's go over the inspection results. The diagnostics check revealed some issues. Flux disruption in the induction loop. Intake valves ruptured and the ion focus. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what any of these words are. Misaligned, I said, I suppose. Misaligned. Problematic to say the least. Next, we have the release valve. That went. Well, what was your assessment? Uh, that's, it exploded. It worked as intended. <laughs> uh, it released pressure, so, okay? No, nah, I'm just gonna say it exploded. That's exactly what happened. It certainly did. I'm going to mark that down as bad. <laughs> you don't say. At least the wiring. The wires were... I think... I didn't get a chance to see it because we were getting attacked. Uh, charred to a crisp. It did look a little... Huh. I'm going to say this since we did get attacked by mole rats. Yep. I think the warm reception they gave us also points to that. Okay. Well, sorry about the pop -ups. But in general, you're handling yourself well. Thank you. Uh, I wasn't expecting a test. 
Some discussion? You already knew what answers you wanted, huh? A fair point. We have a saying among the scribes. Through discourse, we ah! have strength. Stand by! Oh god. I don't want that, but I do want the meat. Be nice to me. Alright, where is she? I gotta finish talking to her. Oh god, I'm so confused. Alright, let's go over the inspection. The diagnostics check revealed some issue. Flux disruption. Oh, I have to do this again? Decelerated? Uh, what was this for again? Flux disrupt disruption in the induction loop. Intake valves ruptured. Uh, all right. Misaligned. Problem. Next, we have the release. Right, I'm just gonna go with the same stuff. Last but not. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. Now let's see what Last. she says. A fair point. We have a saying among the scribes. Through discourse, we gain strength. This wasn't discourse. It was a test. I can't blame you for being upset. I wanted I wasn't. to see you would pay attention. And I have my answer now. Sorry if I angered you. No, you didn't. I'm worried about what our inspection turned up. There are a few parts I'd like to extract and examine in my lab. There's the pressure gauge, the core processor, and the ion focus. They should be upstairs. There's a lot I can learn from examining them if we can pull them out and get them back to my lab in decent condition. I want to take some notes on the core up there, so I'm going to leave the parts removal to you. Each extraction will be a little different, but in general, you'll want to use a light touch. I want the components in good condition, so please be careful. Any questions, or are you ready to get started? Uh, no, I think I'm fine. Be careful. So why the pressure gauge? You saw what <clears throat> happened when we tested the release valve. Yeah, true. I want to examine the stress on the gauge. That could tell us if all that built-up pressure was normal or an anomaly. Oh, and you may have to pry it off, but be careful about it when the time comes. Uh, so tell me about the core processor unit? The brain of the machine. It's the component that coordinates all of the others. It should be slotted into a terminal somewhere. May take a little technical know-how to extract, but nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Alright, we'll see. You never know. Removing a CPU could potentially be tricky, depending on where its location is. Uh, so, what do I need to know about the ion focus? A very important and technical component. It helps force particles into a beam that the machine could fire to affect the weather. Somehow. Could take a bit of manual dexterity to pry loose without any damage. Okay, well, I'm good to go. Am I hungry I'm already? already? Let's see what you can do. I just filled up my food. That's... Do I have parasites? Whoops. You know, I'm just gonna eat some of these since I already have parasites anyways. Whatever. Let's go. Wait, hold up. Uh, they're all upstairs it looks like, so let's go... I think around this way was the way out. There we go. Alright, this is the pressure valve. Right? Oh no, that's, that's the ion focus. So, examine. Inside the... Uh, inside its container, a... Miniaturized ion focus uh, sits nestled in a bundle of tubes and wires, many of which are attached. How will you go about extracting it? Uh, she said gently, so gent uh, so be careful. She said, uh, gently unhook each tube with wire. I'm gonna go with this. I hope I did it right. I did get the ion focus, so... I'm guessing it went well. Let's go with this one. Pressure gauge. Uh, inside its container, a pressure gauge is attached with uh, rusted screws. How will you go about extracting it? Uh, blast off the screws with your weapon, pull out the gauge. 
the oil screw uh oil screws to remove the rust and lift the gauge out no because you could strip the thing i'm gonna go ahead and go with the with the finesse touch by uh oiling this seems seems to be going good so far i don't know Ooh, I'll take both of these. Is this just a door? No, that's the Fort Atlas. Where is... Oh, there's a back door. Come here. Uh, CPU management. I mean, I could... I could go with... I'm going to go with intelligence, but I'm going to listen to... I mean, read all this. Eject CPU... Emergency eject CPU power down and eject CPU Yeah, the full protocol seems like the right answer Oh, I thought of one more thing. Can you pick up the induction coil up there on the machine? Is that Yeah, no problem, but where is it exactly? Seems to She wants me to jump up here I was about to say, let me in. Examine. Inside the container is an induction coil with two thick wires attached. One red, one blue. A low hum and the sound of static sounds uh, surrounds the device and the wires crackle. How would you go about extracting it? Oh, snap. I'm scared. Unhook both wires and slide the coil out. Cut the red wire. A little shock won't hurt anything. Cut the blue wire. It seems shocky, but less so. So, both of these shock. I'm going to go with unhook both wires. Maybe? Okay, I don't know. I don't know the answer to this at all. So, I'm going to go with this. Ouch! What was that? I think that was the wrong answer. <laughs> Give it to me. A mysterious canister sits before you, uh, pulsing with an eerie glow. How will you go about extracting it? Gently lift it out of its container. Quickly snap it out with a heavy sack of dirt. What? Pry it out using your weapon as a lever. Well, that's, uh, okay. Gently lift it out of its container. That doesn't sound good. Maybe the sack thing would have been the right answer. Let's go! Oh, snap. Give me the lead! Oh, God. Where is he? There you are. Come here. Look, you and me need to talk, alright? Let's go. I got some more ammo back too. Who is it? Give me the lead. Let's go. I'm a much better tactician than you. It's all in the brain. Clearly you're not. Close one. Oh god. They just keep coming. Ah! Woo! That was intense. I have a broken arm now, though. Where are you? Let's go! Ow! Look, can you just relax? That's so much. Let's go, Fernarnia! Dunzo! You know, my weapon is actually handling itself pretty well, all things considering. It's a lot of ammo, though. Come on, baby. Ow! Ow! Run! Run away! Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. 
You're dead. You're dead. Don't worry. I got you. Bingo. Oh, there's another one. It's a freaking mole rat. We survived. I love it when they explode. That does it for the inspection. Let's no, give me the food. Where are you? Whew. Whatever you did up there, the security system sure didn't like it. Thanks for the backup. I doubt I could have handled that on my own. <laughs> no, you would have been dead. Let me take a look at what you've collected. The pressure gauge looks like it's in good condition. The core processor is pristine. Good work on that. Thank you. The ion focus looks usable. Impressive. The induction coil seems fine. That's a relief. And what is this? Hmm. This is... Is this ultrasite? <laughs> Fascinating. This looks like some kind of compact power source. None of the documents, none of the terminals said anything about Machine? Perhaps. Uh. I mean, they say Ultrasight has unlimited potential. The fuel of the future. I'd heard the stories, but to think I could hold so much energy in my hands like this? That could be dangerous. Project Atlas may be beyond our power to repair, but we might have something here. I expected the machine to use a small reactor's worth of energy, but they condensed that into a container I can hold in my hands. I, oh, I could do a lot with this. Cool. You were a big help. I'm sure you have what it takes to be an initiate, and soon. Here, take this letter to Paladin Romani. She'll make the final call on letting you into the Brotherhood, but my wreck may tip the scales. <laughs> I'm going back upstairs to take a look at these components. I need to catalog our findings. If nothing else, this ultrasight battery has piqued my interest. There's a lot I could learn from reverse engineering it. <laughs> oh, I'm giving you access to my private terminal, too. It has all the logs we recovered from when we moved in. After what we just went through, I think you deserve to know more about Project Atlas. Take a look if you get some free time. Cool. Thanks again for your help. And good luck with the Paladin. I appreciate it. I really do. But right now, I want to go meet... Ooh, the Fact Finder. Shoots an additional project... Is that a two-shot explosive? Shoots an additional projectile, explodes for area damage, 25%. Dude, that is sick. And it's max level two. That makes me really happy, actually. That's a good reward. A two-shot explosive pistol? Come on now, dude. I'm never going to need it for my character, obviously, but I'm happy that we got it. Field testing. Uh, Prove your merit to Paladin Ramadi. That is awesome. Let's go talk to Paladin Ramadi. That's actually a really cool picture right there. I wonder how she's going to be. She seems level-headed, judging by the little disagreement that her and Shin had. Let me out of here. Hold on. So where where would she be? Upstairs, maybe? Where would she be? I'm so confused right now. Is this her again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let me down. Never yeah. forget the heroes of Fort Defiance. Yeah, I won't. Where is this? Where is she? I don't really have a full-on marker on her. So we came out from down there, right? She's got to be... Uh. Uh. Someday. Go home. Let us take care of business. 
go home, how about you point me in the right direction? Because how come she doesn't have a map marker? That's weird.